Number 32, Jack Noons. Um, Pommy, I would say Jack Noons fits into the category of job doer. Another one. He's a very unassuming guy. And he has this really remarkable trait where he can find the ball 20, even, you know, 24, 25 times. And you seemingly don't notice him. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think, if anything, we probably need more guys like him who are just unassuming and, and just play their role. But I'm just not sure as we start season 2022, where he's going to fit and what role he's going to play. And there's a quite a few players in the same position, new coaching group, new philosophies. We haven't seen their team selection just yet, apart from a practice match. What do you see with Jack Noons this year? Well, I think if Jack Noons is our 23rd best player, Carlton have improved. And mm. I think when we signed him, that was the hope. He would be the next best. And he, I mean, I, I dubbed him, his nickname was COVID in his fourth game because you don't notice him, but he's everywhere, evidently. And that is Jack Nooms. He is everywhere, even in the St. Kilda game, in the practice game. He just pops up. Like you watch him on the screen and it's like you lose the ball in the forward half and then the camera flicks to your defensive half and he's there. He, he's got an uncanny knack of it. And I think that is his role. That is his role. He he has played pretty much every position but Rook for Carlton. And if I'm a young kid, my my first stage of development is be more important than Jack Nooms. Do you know what I mean? If a forward gets injured, I need to be ahead of him. If I'm a midfielder, I need to be ahead of Nooms. If I'm a defender, I need to be ahead of Nooms. Because I think that's what he is. Jack Nooms is going to be polyfiller for Carlton. That is our best case scenario He's polyfiller because at least you know what you're getting. Remember that game last year, his best game disposal-wise against Richmond round one. That's what Nunes does. You know you're going to get a six out of ten from him and he's going to put in a job. And if we can be in a situation, by the by, that Jack Nunes and Ed Kerner are in the VFL and we ever have an injury or we need to rest someone, you know what you're getting from them two footballers. And that is a strong club knowing you can bring in a guy that can do a job. Yeah, no, he's 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 an interesting situation. I I think when I watch the replay of the St Kilda practice match, um, after being at the game, I didn't really notice him. But when I watch the replay, you're right. He he pops up if we're transitioning the ball from our defensive fifty, you know, forward. He finds space to take a mark, and he's really good at that. He's really good at finding pockets of space around the ground and. It's not a flashy thing to be able to do, but it is an important thing to be able to do. I think he's an important link in the chain, and I I don't sense that the occasion overawes him in any game that he's playing in the seniors. And, you know, I think the one thing about him last year was he seemed to put on a bit more size and become a little bit more of an enforcer. And I imagine that being, a, a, a you know, an important hallmark of his game moving forward. Vossi wants to play a lot more of a combative style. It's made that very clear. And this is a guy who I think can help drive that um, hard runner, good runner, good endurance athlete, but also fairly tough. He he sticks tackles and I have no issue worrying about his ability to impact in the contest and play in a powerful manner and and uh, be there for his teammates. And, and like you said, if Jack Noons is our 23rd to 26th best player and, you know, touch wood if any of our, you know, good players or midfielders go down or maybe someone on the halfback flank, you know, or health and safety protocols, which we know are going to be a theme this year. You know that Jack Noons can come in and fill a role. Spawn. I mean, I, I reckon if we had Vossi on this show and he was at a true serum and uh, we said, what are the top 10 players at Carlton that you like for their attributes? Noons will definitely be in that top 10 because like you say, hardworking gives maximizes his potential every time he plays and knows his limitations, but it's that work rate. And I mean, look at the picture above my head. I mean, no one fits the Guernsey better than him. He, he looks the part, doesn't he? He does look the part. God bless him. God blessed him with a physique. But I, I do agree with you. I think that that is Noons' role. I think years ago, 2018, Carlton get an injury and we have to play a kid you've never heard of. If we're in a situation where we get an injury, health and safety protocol, whatever, you feel a lot more relieved knowing Noons is coming in. It's a bit more like being a top eight side 
that we always say about Richmond. How do they have this much depth? Remember two years ago, Jack Graham, he was their depth player. He's now in their leadership group. Like That is how they built a list. They had experience ready to go, and it was good. Carlton are in that situation now. If you get a late out, you trust Nunes to serve a job for two weeks. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm pumped to see what he can provide. And I think amongst the whole group, there's a bit of excitement and a bit of a refreshing theme around having a new coach with you know a brand new reputation and, and being empowered to say, hey, yeah, I know, I know what you've done in this league, but you're getting a fresh slate with me. So I'm hoping to see a, a really defined role for him by the end of the year. Um, but I think it's going to be one of versatility. So you guys in the audience, let us know what you think about Jack Noons and, and where he is and, and where he fits into this team. And we'll chat about it in the comments.